Hey, what's up? It's WWE superstar Dolph Ziggler here, and you're listening to the Spanish Announce Table on the Trending Topics Network. Hey, let's get into my three Ps before we forget. Let's do it. Three Ps. T-Mac starts us off positive each week in wrestling by giving us three things that he found positive this week. T-Mac, what is P1? This is a continuation. I think I've done this three weeks in a row, and I don't mind that it's going to be a fourth week. It is Rollins and Ambrose, the first segment of Monday Night Raw, yeah. and they're reuniting, plus a little uh, bonus with this P1. Uh, the Roman Reigns tweet about being left out. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love that. That was yeah. a nice little bonus. Yeah. It, 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 it was a good caveat yeah. on top of a great segment. I loved yeah. it. I loved how they fought each other, and then they fought their common enemy, and then they realized that they are brothers, and then they came together. I loved it. That's yeah. how, in high school, all my closest friends, that's probably a normal Saturday night in oh, my yeah. world. And so I was very uh, drawn in, and it was very relatable for me. So that's P1. I like P2. It. P2. And this is more of a... Hey, you know what? Uh, if it's not working, let's change it up. And it's Neville losing the cruiserweight title on Raw. So we all know. Let's stop acting like 205 Live is cool because it's not. No one gives a shit. Neville's great. Everything else about it is just pfft. he's established himself as the king. So that moniker and gimmick fits and it's now established and it, it's good. Good to go. So now let's throw in some new blood. So we got Titus Worldwide. We got Tozawa winning the title. I like that they did it on Raw, not SummerSlam, because it makes the episode of Raw viewable, right? right. If you're just assuming that everything's going to happen at SummerSlam and WrestleMania, well, then everything else is just shit, right? So yeah. then uh, why watch it? But if you add the, the little surprises and the upsets and the – uh, wrinkles and storylines, then that's what makes you want to watch Raw. And isn't yeah. that what we all want? Yeah, especially if a title can change hands on a go-home show. I mean, any type of moment. I mean, think about if you use that logic that what culture's Adam Blumpier uses – where he Blumpkin. says it has to it has to happen at SummerSlam or it has to happen at Survivor Series or it has to happen at WrestleMania. Well, then we never would we would have had to wait till WrestleMania for Stone Cold's beer truck. And I'm not saying Tazawa's winning of the IC Championship is on that level. I'm just saying it's a moment, right? These moments can happen anytime and anywhere. So let them happen anytime anywhere to make us always want to watch it and not fast forward through. And again, for 205 Live. Maybe that piqued your interest, and now you're going to watch 205 Live. I didn't still, but I'm just saying. Tozawa does some more fun things. I might give it a shot again. So I like it. It was a Hail Mary, and I applaud him for doing that. And now let's go right into P3, and it's kind of on the same vein, but a little bit better. And it's Baron Corbin failing on his Money in the Bank cash-in. Okay. Before SummerSlam, right? So again, yeah. why doesn't he cash it in on SummerSlam? That makes a moment. As if we're these weird writers that judge entertainment on it has to happen on these benchmarks. It's so weird and bizarre. We're the only form of entertainment that like thinks of it that way and like reports on well why did the writers have baron corbin lose at smackdown no one else does that right so like if al pacino dies in a movie you don't then get an interview with the writer and be like well al pacino was being difficult and so we killed him yeah. we're the only entertainment that like that reports on what the writers are thinking it's mm -hmm. so bizarre and also on top of that and I told you this earlier in the day off air, but the, the, how will Baron Corbin recover from this? Well, first off, Baron Corbin isn't a real person. It's a character. So shut up. And two, it's something memorable. Now he has something to build on. Now we have a match between him and John Cena that has me at least interested in what's going to happen. Before that, I was just thinking John Cena goes over, maybe Baron Corbin cashes in a la Seth Rollins at WrestleMania, but now this is Baron Corbin at SummerSlam, right? Right. But now Baron Corbin is super fucking pissed. John Cena is gloating because he did what uh, he wanted as far as costing Corbin the title. There's some real heat as far as storyline, right? Storyline wise, some heat and some friction, right? Some combustible elements, as we like to call it. And 
if Baron Corbin beats John Cena, don't you think that's worth a title shot? Right, that's true. So it's not like he can't, quote, recover. What are we going to do? We're going to have this guy. How can he recover? Is his yeah. check going to clear? Yeah, Is you, his check going to clear, guys? Yeah, you just, Shut up, you dorks. You just book him to recover. That's how he recovers. Yeah, <laughs> you just have fun. It's wrestling. Yeah. We're not doing open heart surgery here. Forever. His opponents now get to give him shit about failing a money in the bank cash. Exactly. And now that's more of a thing for him to have some drive and some determination as far as his character goes. And the guy will be fine. We all know this guy did not grow up a pro wrestling fan. He is not invested in that. Even if you care about that kind of stuff, we know that as him from watching the WWE 24 and NXT right. behind the scenes things. Right. So shut up. And have fun. It's pro wrestling. It's great. When it's on, it's the best thing in the world. And when it sucks, it's god fucking awful. But right now, they're throwing Hail Marys. We got the second biggest show of the year. There's not too much to complain about. Have some fucking fun. And Brock Lesnar might go on a roid rage and fucking try to kill Strowman, Roman, or Joe. And that right there is worth the viewing. SummerSlam, baby. Let's do it. I like it. And you know what you could do? You could also, uh, uh, as you're enjoying SummerSlam, whip out your phone, swing by SpanishAnnounceTable.net, uh, pick any one of our affiliate links. We have Collar and Elbow brand. We've got- Yes. Right? We've got High Spots up there now. If you're going to buy some yes, High Spots, I we're going to kick have, back. Uh, I got a DVD off of High Spots. Yep. Uh, I won't tell you what, because that's my business. Shut nice. up. Uh, there's a little theater of the mind. Yeah. It has to deal with flips. Um, and it's great. So go through High Spots. It's yeah. amazing. Do that. We've also got Amazon up there, and we have our own uh, Spanish announcer merch table that's on there. Uh, help us out. Yeah, you got a hoodie. Yeah, I did. I got a hoodie. I knew uh, winter was coming. I knew we'd be out doing some uh, NWL uh, events where we like to put on some masks and promo ourselves up a little bit. And uh, I figured, you know, uh, I don't want to wear a jacket over the shirt. Nobody can see the shirt. Hoodie. Easy solution. And you can have that solution, too, by going to CafePress.com slash Spanish announce table and picking up your own. Hey, this is Kyle hey, O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly. You're listening to You're listening and loving to and loving the Spanish announce table. Spanish announce table.